Welcome back to your favorite back again with another video and I'm back with another wrestling related video. In this video, I will be counting down my top 10 favorite female superstars of 2019. If y'all have not seen my top 10 favorite male superstars of 2019, make sure y'all check that video out. Now initially, I was not planning on making this video. When I made the top 10 favorite male superstars, I was really combining both. But it just so happened that my list was full of male superstars. So I said, you know what? Let me just do a female superstar list as well. Number 10, I was so torn between 12 people to put as number 10. Because after I knew who my favorite number one, who my favorite was, and my second favorite, third, fourth, fifth, like once you get to like seven, eight, nine, ten, it's like, man, it is so hard, so tough. But number 10, I narrowed it down to two people and I just could not decide which one to do. So I just picked them both. It's a tie for number 10. And I promise none of the other numbers has a tie. My number 10th favorite female superstar 2019 is Aja Pereira. Aja Pereira is in Shine, best known for Shine. She was Shine Nova champion when I first got exposed to her when I saw Shine last year. And I just thought her match was great. She had a lot of charisma. I loved her manager. Her manager is uh, AR Fox's wife, actually. And she just, she, I love her. I love her inside the ring. She has good matches. She interacts with the crowd. Uh, I think she's a tag team champion, too. It's there inside of a group called Triple A. Look them up. That's how they say it. That's what they say. Hopefully, I didn't do great. But that's how they say it. it's like Aja, uh, uh, Ari Ariel, Ariel Moreau, Big Swole from uh, AEW, and I forget the manager's name, but those are the Triple A, and they're like tag team champions somewhere too. So I just love her. And if y'all don't know Aja Pura, y'all should look her up. And the other side of my number 10, also from Shine, but she's also known for TNA, it is Allison. K. I love Allison K when I go to Shine. She's from Detroit, so she's always super over. But then she makes up for it. Like she's in the ring, she's amazing. She has a lot of charisma too. I love her look. Her little her taunt thing is pinkies up. So like she like I guess she's like classy. She does a little curtsy with her pinkies and stuff. And her music is gangsta paradise. She comes out to the instrumental to that. And I just I love it. I don't know. I just love her matches and everything about her. And I wanna look up her TNA run. Number nine, this one is from NXT. I love seeing her matches. She is the EST of NXT. That is Bianca Belair. I love, I love everything about her. I love her look, personality, her persona, her in-ring ability. I didn't know. When I first saw her in the Mae Young Club, I didn't know she was that good in the ring, for real. But she really is the strongest, the fastest, the most charismatic is <laughs> I don't know. She's just, she's amazing. She's the bestest. She, I love her. Love seeing her matches. And I like that she doesn't use her hair as a weapon. Because when I first was watching, I was like, I hope she doesn't just use this hair every single match. But she doesn't. Some matches, she doesn't even touch her hair, you know? But I like the idea of using it as a weapon to cheat to win. Uh, I do wish she would pick being a healer face or they make something up for her because in NXT, one week she's a face and one week she's a heel. It's hard to remember what she is and that gets on my nerves. Um, I didn't like the undefeated. I didn't like that crap. So then she lost and she was still doing it. Didn't understand that. But other than that, and I wonder, is it really like, does she get annoyed that she got to keep her hair in that same hairstyle? Because <laughs> it's part of her gimmick, so she has to just keep that hairstyle. But I guess it's probably easy to just take out and wear normal hair, but I don't know. But going on to number eight, number eight, let me tell you, I wouldn't expect me to like this girl because I'm not really into gimmicks, like unrealistic gimmicks, like, like Orange Cassidy. I like them, like, from watching some stuff, but I'm not really, like, super into stuff like this, but she made it on my list as number eight of 2019, and that is Suya, known for TNA, Impact Wrestling, Su Young. Oh my God, I would not expect me to like her. I already looked some stuff of her up with Allie and Rosemary and all that, so I knew of her, but, and I've told this story on this channel plenty of times, I was at a, and I did a watch wrestling with me to one of her matches. Her versus Orange Cassidy, ironically enough. So check that out. It should already be on this channel. Check it out. But anyway, I was at a Shine show, and it was Mercedes Martinez who came out. And I didn't know who she was about to face, but I didn't really think nothing of it. But then Sue Young came out, and I was like, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> what? What is this? And I was in the front row, and seeing her and, and 
person is just like amazing. And she get in the ring and the way she acts, like she owns that character because you would think that crap was real. And then go for the test of strength. Sue Young puts her hands up first. And then Mercedes puts her hands up. And Sue Young just takes her hand down really fast and just spits blood right into Mercedes Martinez's hand. First thing she did in the match. And Mercedes like, you know, like freaked out. Like, I'm like, what the heck? Like, I, I don't know what it was, but the, I just, the match was good, and Sue Young ended up losing, but I became a fan. I was a fan. I looked up more stuff for hers. And it's not even the in-ring ability that I'm a fan of, really, with Sue Young, because I'm yet to see a match of Sue Young where I'm, like, blown away and really love, but it's just the character, really, which is so, like, I wouldn't expect it from me to like it, but I really do. And I like Rosemary, too. I couldn't put Rosemary... Well, she might be on this list, you never know. But moving on to number seven. I like this girl so much. I follow her career for so long. She is best known for Lucha Underground, I would say. It is Ivelisse. Ivelisse, I love Ivelisse. I saw her on Tough Enough and I could tell, I could tell that Ivelisse wanted this. She wanted to be a, w a, a professional wrestler. I could tell that she had the passion for it. And I, I it was something about her where I could tell. And I'm so mad that Stone Cold couldn't tell it because she got eliminated. And the guy who won that season just did nothing. I don't even think the second place winner did nothing. Or second place loser, whatever. The runner up. But Eva Lee's wanted this. And she she achieved. I saw her when she went to TNA and she was on the little gut check thing. She she I think she was a wrestler in TNA. I'm not sure though. But she's been with Shine and, and Lucha Underground. And I love, I just, following her story, she's one of my favorites. I met her this year also, and I just love her. I think she's great. I think she's great. Number six. In 2019, in the beginning of 2019, I would not expect me to put this girl as my number six favorite. It is Io Shirai. If y'all seen my, num my awards video for 2019 for WWE, I gave her the most improved award because I wasn't a fan of Io Shirai. At the beginning, when she first got to NXT, I was not a fan. I thought that she was so overrated. I thought that her in-ring work was okay. I'm like, what? Like, There's so many people better than her in the ring on this company. Becky Lynch, Charlotte, Kyrie Sane, Asuka, Shayna Baszler, Ronda Rousey. Like, why do people like her so much? I was so... And she was just a basic baby face, smiling and doing nothing. Her finisher was a moonsault from the top rope, where I feel like she missed so much. Check out, I said this inside my awards video for 2019. Check out her one of her May Young Classic matches. She hit her moonsault and completely missed her opponent. She went over her opponent. Her hands, like her palms, touched the opponent. Barely. And she crawled and got the pinfall from that and got one, two, three. I wish I had the clips so I could show y'all. But I was just like, this girl. And she had no charisma to me. But then her program with Shayna Baszler and she turned heel and just the way she acts and just, she was the best thing in War Games. I said it's in the other video. It's not like a broken record. She was the best thing in War Games. She was the best thing in that Survivor Series match. She was the probably one of the She's just the best. She is one of the best. And I hope she gets the title in 2020. Please let her get the title. I just think she's amazing. I think she's amazing. Number five. Number five goes to Lucha Royalty, Taya Valkyrie, known for TNA. And also Lucha Underground. I saw this girl and I was like, wow. I love the persona. I love the in-ring ability. More of the persona, the mic skills too. Like she owns her character. I love it. I love her. Look, if y'all have not, if y'all don't know Ty Valkyrie, look up Ty Valkyrie. She's the longest reigning T TNA Knockouts champion at this point. Which I kind of wish she wasn't though. I wish she would have had a break in between because I think Terrence Terrell should have held that reign for a little bit longer. But Ty Valkyrie is just amazing in the ring. I love the moves that she do. I love her finisher where she does the Northern Lights, flips it over, and then hits a double stone. I like that as her finisher more than I like the Glam Slam, because she also does the sit out double chicken wing face buster. I love the double knees in the corner, the Andrade knees, the nickname Lucha Royalty, the entrance music, the look, everything. I love her. And she's Johnny 
Mundo, Nitro, Morrison, Impact's wife. <laughs> I, I like her. And number four, she's one of my favorite, if not my number one favorite Impact knockout of all time. It is Angelina Love. I love Angelina Love. I think, now, I really had a crush on her for like the longest time. That's why she was my favorite in the beginning. But then, I'm like, oh, not only is she gorgeous and beautiful, but she actually can wrestle. And she's smart because she surrounds herself with groups. <laughs> she always has a group, and I just love the way that she's had, she went and had a baby, reinvented herself. And some people might say, oh, no, she didn't reinvent herself. She has the same group, it's just got a different name. I would be okay if she had the same group with the same girls with the same name because she's still good in the ring. When I say reinvented herself, it's like she left for so long and came back. She And she didn't just leave and was like just living life. No, she had a baby. She had a baby, raised a baby, and she still like, it's a big deal to come back into the ring. Madison Rain did the same thing. Salute to them. And she reinvented herself to the point where she is championship worthy because she was champion in 2019 and i just i really loved uh angelina love she's probably my favorite knockout of all time i, I just love that she reinvented herself for 2019 and i hope she has a really good 2020. number three oh my god how i just wanted to put her as number one she breaking so many barriers known for tna probably gonna win the tna world champion be the first woman to win the world champion in TNA, it is Tessa Blanchard. Uh, man, the matches I've seen of her. She put on a good match with Brian Cage. And it's not, I'm not saying that Brian Cage is bad because Brian Cage is good. I like Brian Cage. I love his matches, actually. But the thing is, is look at Brian Cage. Look how big he is and look at Tessa Blanchard. Like, she put on a good match with him. Like, you would not expect that to be a good match. And she won. She won. She put on a good match with my boy, Sammy Callahan, who I'm so surprised I didn't put him on my list of top 10 favorite superstars. But she put on a great match with Gail Kim, one of my favorite knockouts in TNA, for real. Man, like, Tessa Blanchard. I love her finisher. I love the fact that when she's in her in the match, like, she's 100% in the match. Like, her face expressions, she's not trying to look cute at all. She's not. She's just like, I'm trying to win this match. Forget she, she's great. Look up Tessa Blanchard if y'all don't know Tessa Blanchard. And she's breaking barriers. She's breaking barriers right now. Like, Candice LeRae was good in her intergender matches, but I think Tessa Blanchard is even... I don't even like to compare, especially not with Candice LeRae, because I love Candice LeRae. Number two, Shayna Baszler. I, not much to say, just Shayna Baszler. She is... Uh, <laughs> I loved watching her everything whenever she came out i just i loved it Shayna baszler is just she's cold she is cold i love Shayna baszler i wish her group was a little bit more legit though because her backup is horrible like Shayna baszler can beat up can do better taking on three people by herself than with her two lackeys because they're just presented as just that lackeys they don't i don't think they've ever won a but Shayna Baszler, just her persona, the way she carries herself with that gimmick is so believable and I just, I love it. Not to mention, she held down the NXT division. She was champion for almost the entire year. And she had great matches. She's been champion, no, she was champion for the whole year. So she's held the title for long, well, she's not champion no more, but. She held the title for over a year and she's the only two-time knockout, or two-time NXT Women's Champion, so love her. I would love to saw her versus Asuka. Speaking of Asuka, my number one favorite women's wrestler of 2019 is Asuka. Despite the horrible booking that she's been through, she remains at the top of my list because whenever she came out, I was 100% for it. I was, anything she did, I was for it. I'm not a fan of her using the mist. I don't like it, cause she's so good. It's like she don't need that gimmick. If, if Asuka would've won the title from Charlotte when she won the Royal Rumble and she won against Charlotte at WrestleMania, if she was still champion to this day, I would be 100% okay with it. Cause I think Asuka is that good. She's top five best in WWE, period. 
male, female, tag team, all that. She's top five. I love Oscar. If I was making a company, she would definitely be one of the top ones I picked. Love her moveset. I like when she cuts promos in Japan, in Japanese, sorry. Her look when she comes out with the mask on. Maybe if she would have won that title from Charlotte as a face and then turned heel, I could see her using the mist then. Like, that would have been good for her to beat Becky. Like, stuff like that. Like, beat a top baby face, turn heel. Or maybe even turn heel inside that match with Charlotte by using the mist. But I think Asuka's just above. Like, she's so great. I love Asuka. She's my number one favorite women's wrestler of 2019. And she probably will be for 2020. But that's my list, y'all. Be sure to leave y'all list inside the comment section down below. Honorable mentions is Shanti Blackheart. She just got signed to WWE. Actually, I saw her on NXT. She was one of my favorites inside Shine, where I used to go. Met her. She's really cool. Honestly, I wouldn't expect her to get signed for WWE out of everybody that I see inside of um, Shine. But she's she's rememberable. Like, that's one of the main reasons why I like her is because I remember her so, so easily. Because her matches are really good. She's got the green hair and a nice look. Like, I like Shanti Blackheart. And I want big things for her inside NXT. I wish her a lot of luck. Also, Lacey Lane. She's inside NXT now, too. And as Kade, Kaden Carter or something like that. Right now, she's just losing every week. But I hope that she really, like, steps it up and they book her right because she she can be one of the best madison rain i mentioned her love her candace LeRae, love her and becky lynch sorry i couldn't put charlotte or becky lynch on this list i really like them but they didn't have that they they weren't really i didn't like them that much this year but that's it for this video y'all leave a like comment subscribe share it on all four social media this camera's about to die so i gotta hurry up and end this and catch y'all later